Okay, y'all, so I am back with another video, and this is another equity booking scheduling um, tutorial. And this time we are doing hair, and I chose to do Daisy Does My Hair. Um, she is a celebrity hairstylist. I got her off of Instagram, and this is just used as inspiration. This is not her real booking site, but if you go to her Instagram, she has fire pictures, fire videos, and stuff like that. So I just really wanted to do one for her. And as you can see, um, I'm just clearing the backgrounds off the pictures I want to use. And Daisy is the one in the middle. So I wanted to make sure I could find a picture of her Instagram. And she didn't have many of herself. So this is the best one I could find. I really showcased her hair. So it's the one I'm using. And now you can see I'm just blurring out the sharp edges. And just change the color to whatever color your background is. And just put a couple of them around it. And there you go. And I made this name Celebrity Hairstylist in Pixar, and that's also where I got the picture frames from. Um, I wasn't crazy about the name I made. I tried different colors because I really wanted it to be a pink, like it is in her logo. But I just couldn't find a background that just really matched that. This one was close, but I don't know why it still just wasn't doing it for me. So I just ended up not using it. And then when it came to her logo, I just found something on her page that had her logo on it. And I just removed the background from it. So as you can see now, I'm going to my images. And these are just images I got off of Google. Um, I just looked up foil, um, silver foil backgrounds because I wanted to match her logo. And um, that's, I think I got that one from off of Pixar, not Pixar, uh, Pinterest. Just that pink background. And I'm just going to my camera roll, um, getting these ones. And I'm not gonna uh, talk much throughout this video just because I have a couple of equity booking scheduling um, tutorials on my page already that are more in depth. So um, you can pretty much just see everything that I'm doing. Now I'm just putting information. And I did go to her actual booking site and screenshot her booking site so I can put the right information so it just makes sense. And so um, I'm just adding a please read carefully. And her booking site had a lot of information on it. So you're gonna see me cut out some of it. I didn't use all of it. Just because it would've took me a little longer. And like I said, this is just inspo. This is not um, her real booking site. And so I just wanted to do something that was just, that went a little quicker. So I didn't use all of her information um, that she had on her actual booking site, but I used majority of it, the most important stuff on it. And then as you can see, I did get this location um, icon off of Google. I went to use a silver one that also matched my whole aesthetic of the page instead of the one that Canva has. And also I am using Canva Pro and it just gives you more um, effects to use if you have access to more things. So just so you know, but you can use the regular Canva Pro. Um, you'll just be limited when using certain things. So as you can see now, um, I'm going back and forth looking at her booking site, but I screenshot it um, to put the information of where the location is um, that she works at. And I pretty much tried to do it in the same order that it was on her booking site. So now that I'm done with that, now we're about to add the actual information. So as you can see, I went to elements, typed in money to find a money icon that I liked. Um, I chose this one and then I just changed the color to the pink that was in her logo. And now I'm just gonna type out the information that she has um, on her book inside already. Yeah. 
And I keep changing my font to, I think it's pronounced Anton or Anton. I don't know. But I really like this font. It always, font. It always looks sharp. It always looks um, real sleek to me. And so that's what you keep. You'll see me keep going back and forth between using this font and a font, um, Brassica, Brassica, something like that. I don't know. But you'll see me just keep going back and forth using those two fonts, really. Um, I don't think I use any other ones. And then I did want to add some red to it. I don't know why I felt the need to do certain words in red, just so people know that that was the most important part out of every out that paragraph that you needed to get. And so um, I went back to elements, grabbed some lines, and um, just to separate the information from one another, I just added some lines, just add some things. Um, I pretty much was making this up as I went. Uh, just to see what I liked, what I did, and we're just gonna create something real sweet, real pretty, girly. And yeah, that's all it really is. There's nothing too much to it. Um, you can easily do your own book inside to your liking, and it's just really whatever you want. You just play with the elements, play with the fonts, um, have some good pictures, and then you're pretty good. And also, if you're not able to do your own and you would like me to do it, I do offer this service. Um, my Instagram will be linked below that you can DM me. Um, I do the YouTube intros, um, the equity book insight revamps, website revamps, um, pretty much everything. I'm still new to certain things, so certain things I just won't offer you just yet. But as far as templates goes, um, I've done logos, YouTube intros, equity book insight revamps. Um, that's pretty much where I am with it. Yep, so you can just DM me. Um, or look at my Instagram to some of the work that I've done by far. And yeah, hit me up if you'd like me to do yours. So now as you can see, I did move that information down because I wanted some of her pictures. Um, I wanted some of her pictures on pretty much every page because she has really, really good pictures. So I put the one with Cash Doll and the burgundy hair was really pretty. So I wanted to use her as well. And um, Put some blur around them to get rid of the sharp lines and then for some reason i wanted to add some money on here it was too plain so i just started adding some things it ended up looking really cute to me um and i just put it where the deposit was and then right here this is going to be the policy and i'm just going to type in her information that she has for policy and I guess I'll skip past that. It was just the information I typed in. It wasn't nothing um, too major. And then um, for extra information, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of the page. But it also be an icon on top of it so people know to still read that part as well. So I don't know if I showed it on the first page, um, but I did get these two pictures of the comb and scissors off of Google. And now I'm just adding them to the second page as well. I was trying to find flat irons and like blow dryers and other stuff too that was a pretty silver but with no name on them. It was just hard to find and I wasn't going to um, look all over the place just because this was just a mock-up. And so I used this on the first page and I'm using it again on this one. Um, just to add some more stuff to it and you'll see me just put i'm just lining them up correctly and then you'll see me just put a little blur on them just to add some depth to it and that's pretty much it
And I wanted to add something to the policy as well, like I added to the deposit part. And so I did have this big red cancel um, icon, but it just wasn't doing it for me. So I switched it to a white one. And all I did was type in, go to um, elements and type in cancel. And that's because it was pretty much our cancel policy. And so it just made more sense to me. And then this is the, this is the third page. I really forgot to start recording again. But all I did on this page is really type, go find icons that match um, the information that I was typing in, change them to pink, and then just type in the information. So it's pretty easy. I'm um, just adding your information really on this part. And I typically do three pages when doing a book inside revamp, but I had to do four just because she had a lot of information and I still didn't even use all of it. So once again, I'm just going to add some extra information at the bottom that is still important. Um, and so I just want to make sure that it's on the page still. And now you just see me getting a silver foil background again, a pink background again, and just using that for what the information is going to be on. And this information was pretty much letting the girls know you cannot sit in the weight room and detangle your hair. It needs to be detangled before you come to your appointment. And just a word of the reminder, basically. So then my last page, um, I really forgot to record again, but it wasn't much. Um, on this page, I just put the vendors list of the hair companies that she does recommend. And it was just a list of like 19 vendors. And then you're going to see me uh, just do a box on the side with the information that she has, um, just in case if you don't use one of these vendors, what could possibly happen? And so on and so forth. So I just want to add the information to the side of it. But that page was mainly just about um, the vendors that she recommends, the type of lace that she recommends. And she had a lot more information, um, but I just wanted to uh, go through it and find the things that um, to me were the most important off of that page. So you'll just see me add that. This is how the page looks. Um, this is also a, page, a picture off of her page. I just removed the background, put it on the silver um, circle element again put some blur around it these diamonds i got from pixart i think i just put them in the background and yeah that's really it this page was pretty simple too um it was mainly about the information so and then you didn't see me add the picture of the girl with the red hair to the um third page all i did was remove the background um turn down the transparency and that was really it realized something I did not realize that they took our arms off the picture because I'm looking to the picture on the sides of the actual video that I used and then the picture that's on the page and her arms are missing I did not catch that so then once again I'm just gonna add those scissors and that comb to the last page as well I added a hair icon on top of the little box with the information on it so people are drawn to it they know to read it and now I'm just adding some more of that bling. Um, it was looking 
a little too separated for me. It was too spacey. So I'm just covering up some more of that black around that silver circle. And then we are pretty much done. This was pretty easy, pretty simple, still pretty um, it was sleek. And I'm gonna log into my actual equity, equity booking site and show you how to upload it. So you go to customer appearance. I'm just going to go to the picture icon, upload as large. And um, on my other videos, they are more in depth. I go slower. Um, so I'm just gonna add all the pages onto here. And then of course, you know, to, in order to remove the space in between the pages, all you have to do is hit return if you're on your phone and it's like backspace on a computer or something. So that's what you'll see me do. Um, but I pretty, I go fast on this one just because of my other videos, they are more in depth. And I had to redo the second page uh, just because I needed some blur on top of it. It was a harsh line between that silver, that black and silver background. Oh, that wasn't the second page, the third page, that black and silver background um, transitioning with the second page. It was just a harsh line. So I went back, added some blur. And as you can see, it's blur on top of the page where Cash Doll is. And now the harsh line is gone. And this is how it came out. It looks really, really pretty. Um, super girly. The pink and the silver went really good together. And yeah, just comment below. Let me know what you think, what you want me to do next.